After the moats and the duck houses and the general fury of four years ago, MPs' expenses did go down, but now they're back at a record level. There is not a bottomless pit of money on which they can call. This is taxpayers' money and taxpayers expect value for money. And these kinds of increases at a time of austerity, public sector pay freezes and so on, is simply not acceptable. The amount MPs claimed for the last financial year was more than £98 million. Within that, claims for expenses like rent and travel actually went down to about £24 million. What went up was the cost of employing staff to £74.3 million. Here in Parliament, IPSA, the Independent Parliamentary Standards Authority, is supposed to control MPs' expenses. And last year, IPSA raised the amount that MPs could claim for employing staff to £144,000 for a London MP, a bit less for others. But that did remind people that MPs are allowed still to employ one family member, and about a quarter of them do, usually a wife or a husband. Eve Burt works for her husband, a Conservative MP, now a minister. Her salary, £39,000. I think we're good value for money. I think we have a, um, you know, I have an ability to work weird hours. I can fit in with Alice's particularly odd um, foreign office timetable at the moment. So constituents can get, um, you know, maybe a slightly better service than they might otherwise have done in the circumstances. To run this place properly, you do need money. But once again, the question's being asked, can't it be done? for just a bit less. Andy Bell, 5 News.